Well, you know, a lot of modifications, as I mentioned earlier, have been made to ensure that the stampede can run safely. Dr. Zhao Hu is a public health physician advising the government on this event, this mega event, and he joins me in Calgary. We've got a real theme going here, doctor. So all the Calgary guests, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. You bet. So tell me um, how, how you think the stampede uh, has done. I know it's early, like it's only just started. But in, in terms of all the protocols they put in place, all the, um, you know, safety considerations that, that sort of went into deciding what they would do, what they wouldn't do, where they would do it, who could come and how many. Uh, w what's your, your general sort of overview of how well they've done it? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the Calgary Stampede has done a, a great job with, you know, trying to keep the things safe. It really is sort of a, a huge priority for them, for me, and we work really, really closely together. I mean, as Mayor Nenshi was saying, just the, the proof of vaccination or rapid testing at <laughs> Nashville North, the slightly intimate uh, event, you know, is something that nobody's really ever done yet at a major event. And that sort of goes to show, um, you know, just how far uh, the Stampede organizers are willing to, to go to make sure the event is fun, but also very safe. I'm curious, do you think that what they're doing at Nashville North, uh, because I don't think we've seen anything quite like that at any of sort of big events, because I'm thinking to hockey games as well, uh, but that, that was sort of done a little differently. So uh, is Nashville North, a, a, first of all, is it a template for other similar events? I could definitely see it being a template. Uh, you know, if you look down south of the border, uh, to attend a, a San Francisco Giants game, um, same thing, need proof of vaccination or a, a negative test. Uh, you know, right now, I think, you know, lots of organizations are talking about or thinking about sort of what they can do to keep their employees or patrons safe. And, you know, I think the proof of vaccination thing is definitely one of the, the best ways to do it. Um, it is still relatively early in our sort of reopening stages. And, you know, I think there's a lot of questions around some of the, some of the, uh, logistics and legal and privacy considerations, but I do anticipate we'll see more of this in the future. And also for people outside of Calgary who might not be familiar with Nashville North, just explain why that's different than everywhere else, because that is the, the only place where proof of vaccination is required and a rapid test failing that is also required. Yeah, yeah. So, so Nashville North is, um, you know, an outdoor music venue. So it's under a big tent. Uh, you know, this year it, it's fully open to the air. And usually, you know, when you're doing an outdoor event, it's it's much, much, much safer than anything indoors. Uh, but people are known to, you know, have a few drinks and get close to one another. And, you know, I, when that happens, uh, you know, it, uh, you know, being outdoors doesn't matter quite so much. And and so, um, the, as Nancy said, it's a little more intimate than, you know, some of the other events that sort of happen around the Stampede. And that's why, uh, we're doing sort of uh, the extra things necessary to, to try to keep people safe. Right. So is, is that the reason why, for example, uh, a proof of vaccination would not be required in other places? Because, you know, it is outside and I take your point, Some you know, sometimes when people are sort of partying, which is sort of the, what Nashville North is all about, uh, mm -hmm. uh, that m maybe they're not as careful or, you know, just completely as cognizant of uh, what the potential uh, threat could be in terms of uh, transmission of COVID. But nevertheless, you know, Stampede does have the potential to attract a lot of people. And even if they're outside, like Nashville North, they're in pretty close quarters. So, do, you know, would you have preferred to see uh, those kinds of requirements, those entry requirements extended to other parts of the, the Stampede? Uh, no, I, I, I think that, you know, it, it, you really do need to do um, like a careful sort of what I say risk assessment. Right. And so when I think about much of the stampede, it's sort of outdoor midway uh, sort of setting. And, you know, if I draw a parallel to that and let's say the protests that happened last summer, very similar in terms of, well, protests probably bigger in terms of the number of people that were there and they're probably closer. And we didn't see an appreciable increase in transmission. And so I think that, you know, whether at the Stampede or whether elsewhere, if people are just out and about outdoors in a park, um, in a fairground, the CNE, the PNE, you know, I, I think it is quite safe. And especially now we have some of the highest immunization rates in the world, which is really nice. Um, I, I'm much, much less concerned about that sort of setting. Um, you know, if you go to a place like Nashville, which is the only place we are requiring the proof vaccination and or the negative test, 
uh, you know, when people start partying, uh, when there's a bit of alcohol in play, you know, I, I think that's when people do tend to get much closer potentially. And, and that's where, you know, we would see or I would perceive there would be the, the biggest potential risk. Okay, just finally, before you go, is there a plan in case, if there are cases uh, that uh, can be contact traced back to the venue, do you have a plan to be able to do that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in my prior job, I was a medical officer of health, right? And so I was basically managing, like I've managed every single sort of, you know, cases, outbreaks all over that. And so we're really, really well prepared we're working closely with Alberta Health Services. And, um, you know, I think, you know, if should a case arise, we'll be sure to identify it quickly and, and nip it in the bud. Okay, we'll leave it there. It was good of you to take the time to talk with us, uh, Dr. Drahu. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Happy Friday. Thanks. Happy Friday to you as well. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.